For the second time since returning from the three-week pause, Michigan basketball would find itself going up against the No. 4 team in the nation and another one of the Big Ten's most formidable teams. Illinois has long decried the Wolverines' decision not to play just days after the COVID-19-induced pause took place, but with the game back on the books, the Fighting Illini could either stay alive in contention for the Big Ten regular season championship or the Maze and Blue would walk away with it, and a likely no. One seed in the forthcoming NCAA tournament. But Michigan basketball had to earn it. The Wolverines entered halftime with just 22 points, down 11 with 20 minutes to go, the Mays and Blue would need some second-half magic to get back into it, as nothing was going right for Michigan in this one. But the halftime magic wouldn't come, as a completely out-of-sorts Michigan basketball team got dominated on its home court by Illinois, 76-53. Here are our five takeaways from the game. Early offensive stalemate for both teams stays with Michigan ANN Arbor, Michigan, March 2, Andre Curbelo No. 5 of the Illinois Fighting Illini drives to the basket against Isaiah Livers No. 2 of the Michigan Wolverines during the first half at Chrysler Arena on March 2, 2021 in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Photo by Gregory Seamus, Getty Images, at the under-16 media timeout, the teams were tied at 2-all, and Michigan basketball worked to come back from a sizable scouring drought. In the early going, neither team looked particularly comfortable on offense, as defense led the way and both teams were out of rhythm. The teams got to 10 points each with 10.24 left in the first half, but again, both teams were stuck, incapable of getting much of anything going. The Illini were without Ao Dosunmu but the two teams were locked. The teams were both shooting under 30% from the field in the first 10 minutes of the game. Illinois was the one able to pick things up, and Michigan, as said, entered the half with just 22 points and sat with an 11-point deficit. It's hard to beat the no. Four team in the country when things are so difficult on the offensive end. Michigan never found a rhythm in this one. While the Illini managed to get near 50% shooting, the Wolverines stayed cold from the field. Michigan only managed four assists all game. It averages 16.1 on average. Nothing went right Michigan guard Eli Brooks, 55, tries to pass under pressure from Illinois guard Andre Curbelo, 5, in the first half of an NCAA college basketball game in Ann Arbor, Michigan, Tuesday, March 2, 2021. AP photo, Paul Sancia, Illinois outshot Michigan, but the Illini turned the ball over with more regularity. But the Wolverines weren't able to take much advantage. The Fighting Illini had eight first-half turnovers which led to just six points for the Maze and Blue.